In this version of Adobe Photoshop, the Creative Suite version 4, there's all kinds of really innovative goodness to be had. One of the coolest things, in my opinion, because I draw at such extreme angles, is the ability to rotate the canvas, finally, like Corel Painter. If I hit the R key on my keyboard and click on my canvas, I can rotate it. And now I can do all kinds of artwork in a more intuitive fashion. And once I'm done, I simply hit the escape key. That alone is worth the upgrade for me because I always had a hard time drawing at this angle. It doesn't work for me. Also available is a new feature called Content Aware Scaling, which you'll see under the Edit menu. Now currently it's ghosted out because we don't have anything selected to use this tool on, but we will in the tutorial. This allows you to take a long image. Let's say you and your friend went to the mountains and you wanted to write a book about your experience, but you really didn't want to crop away any of those mountains or the clouds or anything. You wanted to keep all those pixels in that cover. Well, that tool will allow you to do just that. It allows you to compress that image in any direction and keep the quality of all those pixels. Now, is it perfect? No, but I will show you a way around that so that you won't squish your friends when you use this tool. You also have new panels. Before, when you wanted to apply a mask, you would use the layers panel and you would go down here to add a mask or whatever you want to do. And if you want to make an adjustment, you would do that down here as well. Now you can get those guys by going to the window menu and using the adjustments panel or the masks panel. So I'm going to choose adjustments and show you that we have all kinds of adjustments available from brightness and contrast to levels to curves to the new vibrance panel. They're all here and they're easy to use and I'm going to show you how to get to them. We also have the masks panel. Here you can create a new pixel mask and a new vector mask. You can even blur vectors now with this panel. Very, very cool. Also in this panel, you'll find the ability to refine your masks. So you can get to your mask tools, your color range, and you can even invert here. So that's just a few of the new things that you'll find in this version. Not only that, by the way, but you'll even have new ways of viewing your documents. So you can go to the arrangement and you can choose to put your images side by side in grids, floating in all windows, and all kinds of other great things. So let's get started and learn how to use Photoshop CS4.